God is in you. For those of you that have been watching this series, you have heard me say this. When I was 21, in the year 1997, I came to the realization that we are physical manifestations of the Most High, be it God or Allah or whatever name you wish to use. And with us being physical manifestations of the Most High or the ultimate power source, this means that there are many things that we can do while in these bodies that we are borrowing. We are using these bodies to have a human experience, function on the earth, that is all. Imagine the ultimate power source dividing itself into many different forms. Insects, animals, stars, the sun, human beings, it's all connected. The energy source is very much present. Now, the animals that you watch, like dogs, cats, and the rest, are using their abilities. You watch them. You look at them in the dog park, for example, and you watch, and you see the animals function as they do, and it's amazing to watch. But what about the human beings? What about human beings? So humans are blessed with special gifts. You enter into the world with this blessing. God is in you. You are aware of this as an infant. You are aware of this as a child. Unfortunately, as you grow up, you are taught not to acknowledge this. You are taught to go the other way. It's much easier to control someone when they're unaware of their gifts. I am aware of my gifts. I can remove your stress. Mm -hmm. This is what I can do and there is more. I'm discovering more. The evolution continues. For you, discovering what your gifts are is quite easy or at least I have discovered that it is. It requires you to change how you think. It requires you to adopt certain practices. I have spoken of this in this series quite a bit, well over a hundred episodes in total. And in some of the episodes, there will be drills and the drills bring you closer to the strengthening of these abilities. You will add more power to the gifts that were blessed upon you at birth because the more you acknowledge it, the stronger it becomes. It operates the same as your body. The more you work out, the stronger it becomes. It's the same thing. Energy becomes stronger. God is in you. You have all the answers that you need. There are many questions that are in your mind. Many people are losing themselves currently. The economic downturn, the post-2020 uh, mindset. There are many things that have impact on people's minds and they're losing it. They're angry. And they're losing it. They're losing hope. They're losing faith. A lot of that is going on. The stresses of trying to maintain your lives. This is real. This is happening. And it has picked up momentum since 2020. Crime is up in a lot of major cities. You can see it. The vibration is real. The formula is right here in this series. I've been speaking on this for a while. Mm -hmm. I have studied this since the 90s. It is a very simple formula. You have the vision, you have the belief, you have the habits. To ignore your inner being is to remove strength. To acknowledge your inner being is to add strength. By acknowledging your inner being, you are acknowledging God. God is in you. The more you acknowledge this, the more you grow in strength. God is in you. Right there in your body. And has been with you since the day you were born. Of course, you can turn away from it. You can turn it off. You can frown upon it. Mm -hmm. You can dismiss this completely. Dismissing this means the power is less. It's still there, but it's less. It doesn't have the 
potency that you would need to get through life. The problems you have will pile up. But the more you acknowledge your gifts, the more you put them to use, the more you will begin to glide through the challenges as if they do not even exist. It's almost as if they're not even there. The challenges are minimal. You won't have as many stresses. You won't have as many things piling up on you. Your emotions will be stabilized. The trauma will disappear. The depression will disappear. All of the things that have been troubling you will begin to reduce the grip. God is in you. So you will begin to use the blessings. You will begin to expand your abilities. Telepathy, healing, all of the things that you discover as you go. The meditations that you engage will guide you to the discovery of these abilities and will add strength to them. You will begin to understand what your purpose is on the earth while in this body. You do have a purpose and you will discover what that is. And then you will get the answers in terms of what you are supposed to do with the gifts. You will know where to go. You will know who to connect with. Yes, this includes strangers. You will be guided to the path of being of service to others. And by being of service to others, you are of service to yourself. By being of service to others, you are doing the will of God. God is in you. It's all connected. Being of service to others is being of service to yourself. And there are many examples of this, some on a large scale, some on a small scale. On a large scale, you could imagine the athlete making a great play and 70,000 people cheering or the comedian on stage telling a joke and everyone in the room is laughing really hard. And then on the small scale, you have a person who loves to cook. They're a family member and they make some food and maybe those people in the room are enjoying that meal so much. Or you go out and you get a gift. It's something that that person has always wanted and you see the reaction on their face when they receive it. So there's large scales, there's small scales in terms of being of service to others, but it truly is the greatest gift of the human experience. Essentially, you are elevating the vibrations of others around you. If your goal is to do this everywhere you go, you are, by default, doing God's will to elevate the vibrations of those around you. And how will you do this? In what form will you do this? That is up to you to discover by doing the meditations, by acknowledging your inner being. You will be guided to understand how you are to do this. We have a portion of God in these bodies. So that means we can do some great things while on the earth. This is our blessing. Become more than you can possibly imagine. By applying what I speak of in this series, you will find the strength within.